माय डियर स्वॉन्स मैं सब गंगाधर स्वॉन के एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द एम सी जेम्स वर्चुअल क्लास My dear students, today in standard सेवन civics, we will be learning the topic introduction to our constitution. The heading of our civics textbook is our constitution. Like in history, there is always heading and heading of our history textbook is history of medieval India, which means that in the history textbook of सेवन standard, we are going to study about the history of medieval period or about medieval Indian history the same thing about the civics in our civics textbook we are going to study about the constitution so the heading of our civics textbook is our constitution and if you talk about the chapters then all together there are six chapters in our civics textbook three for first term and three chapters for second term now the first chapter which you can see on the screen that is introduction to our constitutions so in this topic we are just going to talk about the concept of constitution or the definition of the constitution and the role of the leaders who play very important role in writing or in making our constitution second chapter will be preamble to the constitution in that we'll study about the preamble of our constitution then the third one features of the constitution what are the features of our indian constitution about that we'll study in the third chapter then if we talk about the second term then we'll start it with the fourth chapter which is fundamental rights part 1 fundamental rights part 2 is the fifth chapter so in fourth and fifth chapter we are going to talk about the fundamental rights which are mentioned in our constitution and the last chapter sixth one directive principles of state policy and fundamental duties which means that we are having our fundamental rights as per our constitution or our constitution gives us fundamental rights but at the same time we have some duties and about that we will study in the sixth chapter so all together we have to study six chapter three for first term three for second term and today we will be learning the first chapter that is introduction to our constitution now in the civics textbooks of the previous classes that is in 6th standard we saw many reasons why rules are necessary in our lives rules play very important rules uh, important role in our life and there are certain rules everywhere like in society where we are living there are certain rules of the society in school there are certain rules of school or whenever we are playing with our friends then also there are some certain rules of that particular game so it is very important to follow the rules and we follow norms and rules in order that the activities in the family in our school our village or in city which are carried out smoothly but when we talk about our family then there are no rules in a family family mein koi rules nahi hote hai but there are norms about the behavior of members in a family rules nahi hai lekin kuch norms hai which is not exactly we can say rules ki aisa karna hi hai lekin kuch norms hote hai jaise we have to respect the elders bado ka hame respect karna chahiye ye koi rule nahi hai but ye ek norm hai and which we follow in family so there are no rules in a family however there are norms about the behavior of members in a family so there are rules in a school regarding admission regarding uniform and also about studies about the admission there are rules admission ke liye kuch certain rules hai as per your age you will get the admission in that particular standard you have to submit some papers kuch papers bhi aapko submit karne padte hai then only you will get your admission and it will get as per your age or as per your previous standard or as per your previous study then one more and very important rule in a school is regarding uniform you have to follow this rule अब जिस स्कूल में पढ़ रहे हो उस स्कूल का यूनिफॉर्म आपको पहनना पड़ता है एंड 
certain rules about the studies like timetable is there then you have to complete the homework in that particular deadline or in a particular date so there are rules in a school regarding admission uniform and studies number of rules you can add in this different competitions also have their own rules the administration of our village or city is also carried out in accordance with rules so competitions like allocation competition debate competition or any competition based on skill or any particular game like cricket or kabaddi or kho kho these games have their own rules unke apne kya hote hain rules hote hain aur un rules ke hisab se hame khelna padta hai otherwise hum us game mein nahi reh sakte hum tikenge nahi usme so different competitions also have their own rules and not only this but the administration of our village you people already studied about this in your 6th standard civics in the jilla parishad or in municipal corporation or panchayat samiti gram panchayat that how these things follow the rules or how the certain rules are there so the administration of our village or city is also carried out in accordance with the rules and similarly the administration of our country is carried out through a system of rules it is again very important to understand here that starting from the family family may no rules but norms are there then in school we are having rules then in many competitions there are rules jidhar bhi hum jaate hain wahan ke kuch na kuch rules hoti hai and the same thing with the administration of our village to village mein jaise administration ke rules hai about which you people studied in 6th standard civics same thing is about the country the administration the administration of our country administration jo ek सिस्टम है जो रन करती है हमारे देश के अलग अलग चीज़ें जैसे एजुकेशन डिपार्टमेंट है विच वर्क्स फॉर द एजुकेशन ऑफ द कंट्री हेल्थ डिपार्टमेंट है विच वर्क्स फॉर द हेल्थ ऑफ द कंट्री तो वहाँ के जो एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स है जैसे विच इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द स्कूल देन हेड मास्टर टीचर्स लाइक दैट सो द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ आवर कंट्री इज कैरिड आउट थ्रू अ सिस्टम ऑफ रूल्स and the rules regarding family school village or city are limited in nature school ke rules limited hai family ke rules limited hai rules of village rules of city are limited but the rules or provisions now here one word which we are using whenever we talk about constitution jab hum constitution ki baat karenge to rules ki jagah pe hum provisions ye jo ek word hai usko use karenge but the rules or provisions about the administration of a country are much wider in scope bahut jyada wide hai because these rules or these provisions are for each and every one wo sab ke liye hai kisi particular caste ke liye kisi particular class ke liye kisi particular religion ke liye nahi hai these rules or these provisions are for all the people who are living in india and that is why the rules or the provisions which are mentioned or which are written in our constitution are much wider in scope and about that we are going to study in our today's topic so the basic thing about the constitution what is constitution we are going to talk about the constitution and that is why it is very important to understand the concept of constitution or the definition of the constitution and it is given in our textbook the book in which all the provisions regarding the administration the book in which all the provisions regarding the administration of the country regarding what regarding the administration of the country are mentioned together in a systematic way so that one can easily understand it's called a constitution ek aisa book main aapko easy karke bata raha hu ek bar ye constitution ki definition achhi tarah se samajh mein aayi 
तो पूरा जो सिविक सम पढ़ने जा रहे हैं वो आपको आसानी से समझ में आएगा द बुक इन विच एक ऐसा बुक जिसमें ऐसे सारे रूल्स लिखे गए हैं प्रोविजन्स लिखे गए हैं कि देश को किस तरह से चलाया जाए रिगार्डिंग द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन देश के एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन को किस तरह से चलाया जाए या फिर देश का एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन पूरे देश को किस तरह से चलाएगा उसके बारे में जो प्रोविजन्स लिखे हुए हैं और वो जिस बुक में सिस्टमेटिक वे में लिखे हुए ऐसे नहीं कि कहीं पे कुछ भी लिखा हुआ है इट इज इन अ सिस्टमैटिक वे एंड दिस बुक इज कॉल्ड अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन तो सबसे पहली और इंपॉर्टेंट बात कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन क्या है कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज अ बुक एक बुक है और इस बुक में क्या है प्रोविजंस रिगार्डिंग द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ अ कंट्री देर ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी द पिक्चर ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दिस मेक्स द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अ रिटर्न डॉक्यूमेंट ऑफ द प्रोविजंस रिलेटेड टू द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द कंट्री बुक में लिखे हुए होने की वजह से क्या हुआ है इट इज अ रिटर्न डॉक्यूमेंट रिटर्न डॉक्यूमेंट गवर्नमेंट इज इस्टेब्लिश बाय द रिप्रेजेंटेटिव इलेक्टेड बाय द पीपल एंड इट इज बाउंड टू कैरी आउट द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द कंट्री एज पर द प्रोविजन्स ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इन द इलेक्शंस हम अलग अलग लोगों को चुनाव जिताते हैं फिर वो पार्लियामेंट में जाते हैं अलग अलग जगहों पर जाके बैठते हैं जैसे अपने अगेन एंड अगेन आई एम रिपीटिंग द सेम थिंग जैसे सरपंच आपने पढ़ा उस तरह से लास्ट ईयर के सिविक्स में तो इट इज बाउंड टू कैरी आउट द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द कंट्री एज पर द प्रोविजन्स ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन अगर ये नहीं होगा तो क्या होगा हर साल कोई नया इंसान चुन के आएगा और वो अपनी तरह से सब एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन चलाएगा ये ना हो इसीलिए इट इज बाउंड टू कैरी आउट द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द कंट्री एज पर द provisions of the constitution the rules and provisions in the constitution are the basic or fundamental law of the land these are the basic or we can say fundamental law of the land while making laws the government is bound to follow the constitution and if it does not then what if it does not do so then the judiciary can declare those laws null and void or unconstitutional so these are again the different parts about the judiciary in our country in the next standard you people will study in detail about this about the judiciary about the parliament but here one thing which you people have to keep in mind that the if any government is not working according to the constitution then the judiciary can declare those laws null aise kuch law agar banaye gaye jo constitution ke khilaf ja rahe hain तो जुडिशियरी उन्हें खारिज कर सकती है या फिर उन्हें एप्लीकेबल नहीं माना जा सकता सो दिस मेक्स द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन रिटर्न डॉक्यूमेंट बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ऑफ द प्रोविजन्स रिलेटेड टू द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ऑफ द कंट्री एंड नाउ प्रोविजन्स इन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बट बिफोर दैट यू पीपल जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट दिस कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इट इज बाउंड this word is important to carry out the administration of the country as per the provisions of the constitution then the rules or the provisions in the constitution are the basic or fundamental law we people talked about this already now again some important things about constitution constitution is made based on the constitution of every country has certain special features now why certain features because the historical background social economic and political conditions influence the making of the constitution in the world each and every country has their own constitution aisa nahi hai ki kisi ek desh ka constitution hi kisi dusre desh mein follow kiya ja raha hai why because the historical background of that particular country is different than the other the social structure of the society is different than the other jaise in our country caste system is there aur agar hum kisi aur desh ki baat karenge ki udhar class system ho sakti hai ya fir kahi par aur kuch aur social system hai so the historical background social things and the economic and political conditions influence the making of the constitution so all these factors have 
contributed in the making of the constitution of india the provisions in the constitution are about different things provisions in the constitution are about different things for example citizenship kis kis tarah ke niyam hote hai ya kis kis cheezon ke niyam hote hai the provisions in the constitution are about different things for example of citizenship then the rights of citizens about which we are going to study in the fourth and the fifth chapter fundamental rights part 1 and fundamental rights part 2 then the relationship between the citizens and the state subjects of the laws to be made by the governments elections restrictions on government jurisdiction of the state so all these are the points about which provisions are there in the constitution you can add many things to this and jaise jaise hum aage padhte jayenge civics ke textbook mein about the constitution to aur cheeze hame pata chalegi ki about which we are going to study in the constitution or in the textbook which is our constitution next thing almost all countries have accepted the principle of governance according to a constitution and at the nature of the constitution of different countries is different now why it is different because the history social structure culture traditions etc between the countries are different and at the same time their needs and objectives also might be different so each country tries to create a constitution that is not only suited to its needs and objectives but also it's in tune with its distinct nature and that is why the constitution is different in the different parts of the world alag alag country ke alag alag constitution hai now again the question is why do we need constitution why do we need constitution constitution की डेफिनेशन हमने देखी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन क्या है वो हमने समझ में लिया अब बात ये आती कि व्हाई डू वी नीड कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हमें कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन क्यों चाहिए सो ऑन द स्क्रीन यू कैन सी द फर्स्ट फंक्शन ऑफ अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज टू प्रोवाइड अ सेट ऑफ बेसिक रूल्स व्हाई इट इज नेसेसरी टू प्रोवाइड अ सेट ऑफ बेसिक रूल दैट अलाउ और मेनिमल coordination among the members of a society or in simple language which is given in our textbook we can say government has to function within a set of rules har ek government ko ek particular set of rules mein administration karna hai and this reduces the possibility of the misuse of the power and authority they have been given the second function of a constitution is to specify who has the power what is to specify that who has the power to make decisions in a society it decides how the government will be constituted so a constitution includes the rights and freedom of the citizens government cannot take away these rights and therefore people's rights and freedoms are safeguarded running a country as per the provisions of the constitution is the same as establishing the rule of law and then there are and then there is no scope for the misuse of power or high handed administration and that is why constitution is very important ye to kal koi bhi government kisi bhi parties ka agar aata hai to wo apne man se apne hisab se kuch na kare desh mein jo ki desh ke khilaf hai desh ke logo ke khilaf hai इसीलिए कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन का होना बहुत जरूरी है द थर्ड फंक्शन ऑफ अ कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इज टू सेट सम लिमिट्स ऑन व्हाट अ गवर्नमेंट कैन इम्पोज ऑन इट्स सिटीजन्स एंड दीज लिमिट्स आर फंडामेंटल इन द सेंस दैट गवर्नमेंट मे एवर ट्रेस पास दैम इसी को अलग लैंग्वेज में कहा गया कि पीपल्स राइट्स एंड फ्रीडम्स आर सेफ गार्डेड ड्यू टू कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन the fourth function of a constitution is to enable the government to fulfill the separations of a society and create conditions for a just 
society. If a country is run as per the constitution, the faith that the common people have in the government increases. They then become keen on the participating in the activities of the government. Democracy is strengthened due to the increased participation of the people. So it is very important for any government to follow the constitution or walk on the path which is shown by the constitution. Then only people can support the government and because of that the active participation of people increased in the social activities or governmental activities which increase the participation of the people and it may increase the democracy's strengthness. Next one if we talk about the general things about the constitution we need a constitution to govern a country properly again this one word which is very simple to understand kyu jaiye hame constitution desh ko properly chalane ke liye the constitution defines the nature of political system of a country sometimes we feel strongly about an issue that might go against our larger interest and the constitution helps us guard against this so all the three organs of government that is executive legislature and judiciary as i told you about this in detail you people will study in the 8th standard civics like in ye jo three main organs hai executive legislature and judiciary functions within the constitution and all the three organs of government including ordinary citizens derive their power and authority constitution presents some political ideals before the country the nation is also bound to act in the direction it creates an atmosphere conducive to attain world peace and security and preservation of human rights since the constitution also includes the list of citizens duty it is fixes the responsibility of the citizens as well so again i am repeating the same thing it is not only talking about the fundamental rights it is also talking about the duties of the citizens so constitution is required why it is required to have authoritative allocation of power and function and also to restrict them within its limit and that is why constitution is very important or we need constitution Now these are the points again given in our textbook in short government has to function within a set of rules a constitution includes the rights and freedoms of the citizen running a country as per the provisions of the constitution is the same as establishing the rule of law if a country is run as per the constitution the faith that the common people have in the government increases so the faith of the common people increases constitution presents some political ideals before the country and since the constitution also includes the list of citizens duties it fixes the responsibility of the citizen as well so all these are the reasons because of which we need a constitution or we can say country need a constitution it establishes authority and institution for running the country it limits on the powers of the government it makes the government accountable to its citizen it defines democracy and the rights of its people the unity stability and prosperity unity stability and the prosperity of the country depends largely on the constitution again and again we are repeating these things because this is very important to understand that why we need constitution or why any country need constitution next point now background of the making of the constitution the process of the making of the indian constitution started in 1946 the process 
of the making of the Indian Constitution started in 1946. The leaders of the freedom movement insisted that independent India will be governed not by the laws made by the British but by laws made by Indian themselves and that is why we are having our constitution. When we were ready for freedom, there was a thing that the British made the British रूल्स बनाया है उसके हिसाब से हमारा देश नहीं चलेगा क्योंकि उन्होंने जो रूल्स बनाए थे वो उनके फायदे के लिए थे सो टेकिंग इनटू कंसीडरेशन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ आवर कंट्री द कल्चर ऑफ आवर कंट्री द पॉलिटिकल सिस्टम ऑफ आवर कंट्री उसके हिसाब से हमारा अपना कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन बनेगा और उस पर हमारी कंट्री चलेगी सो अ कमिटी वॉज इस्टेब्लिश टू प्रिपेयर द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट इंडिया इट कैम टू बी नोन एज द कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट असेंबली so the constituent assembly completed the historic task of drafting the constitution for independent india and how was it done india became independent on august 15 1947 before that the british ruled over india and we know about this they had divided india into provinces like bombay bengal and madras for the convenience of administration again and again we're having the word administration so we'll just clear here the thing of administration administration people already studied about this but just we'll revise government has to make laws relating to several subjects such as defending the boundaries protecting the people from external aggression eradication of poverty creating employment education and health services or encouragement to commerce and industries protection of the weaker sections making policies for the progress of women children and the tribal people so here administration about the different subjects and the subject just now i told you Government has to bring about desirable changes in the society by implementing laws. अलग अलग laws होते हैं In short, governments in modern times have to take decisions related to different issues right from space research to public cleanliness. Same thing like in our school. जैसे cleanliness के कुछ rules होते हैं अलग अलग rules हमें follow करने थे वैसे ही देश के कुछ रूल होते हैं एंड दिस इज गवर्नेंस और एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन so having understood the meaning of constitution and governance now the next point is background of the constitution so hamare class mein bhi dekho cleanliness monitor hota hai ek blackboard ka monitor hota hai aise alag alag monitor kya karte hai wo wo particular kaam karte hai to ye administration ek tarah ka ho gaya for our class waise hi pure desh ka ek administration hota hai jo alag alag level pe kaam karta hai and now the administration about the provinces was carried out by people's representatives and similarly the local princes were carrying out the administration in some areas wo apna apna khud ka administration chalate the such areas were known as princely states and their chiefs were known as princes the representatives of the provinces and the princely states were included in the constituent assembly jo constituent assembly banayi gayi usme in sare prince ko bhi liya gaya princely states ko bhi liya gaya so there were a uh, total of 299 members how many 299 members in the constituent assembly dr rajendra prasad this one Dr Rajendra Prasad was the president of the constituent assembly and Dr Baba Saheb Ambedkar played a very important role in writing or in making our constitution now here the role of Dr Baba Saheb Ambedkar in drafting the constitution Dr Baba Saheb Ambedkar was the chairman of the drafting committee and he had studied in depth the constitution of different countries of the world that is why he knows the things in the different constitutions of the world kya acha hai kya bura hai wo sab unhe pata tha he studied and contemplated 
day and night to draft our constitution. He worked hard for our constitution. The draft constitution prepared by him was presented to the constituent assembly and it was discussed article by article. जैसे वो लिखते थे फिर आर्टिकल बाय आर्टिकल कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट असेंबली में डिस्कशन होता था ऐसे नहीं कि एक बार लिखा और हुआ उस पर बहुत सारे डिस्कशंस होते थे और हमारे देश का एक भी ऐसा लीडर नहीं था कि जो उसमें नहीं था सब लीडर्स कॉन्स्टिट्यूंट असेंबली में थे और सब उस पर फिर डिस्कशन पे डिस्कशन डिस्कशन पे डिस्कशन करते थे एंड देन चीज़ें फाइनल होती थी सो मेनी अमेंडमेंट्स व सजेस्टेड बाई डिफरेंट मेम्बर्स डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब अम्बेडकर हैंडल द टास्क ऑफ प्रेजेंटिंग द ड्राफ्ट answering the various questions raised on it making changes in the draft as per the suggestions of the constituent assembly and making every provision of the constituent constitution flawless dekho aaj kuch ek article rakha hai fir us pe discussion ho raha hai fir wo dusre din likh ke layenge fir us pe discussion hoga fir usko likh ke jab tak ye final nahi hota tha tab tak us pe dr baba saheb ambedkar kaam karte the ड्राफ्टिंग पे सो ड्राफ्टिंग कमिटीज वॉज फॉर्म्ड विथ एट मेंबर्स अंडर द चेयरमैनशिप ऑफ डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब अम्बेडकर द कमिटी स्टडीड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑफ वेरियस कंट्रीज एंड टुक द गुड फीचर्स फ्रॉम एवरी कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड इंक्लूडेड दैम इन द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हियर यू कैन सी ड्यू टू हिज डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब अम्बेडकर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन टूवर्ड्स द मेकिंग ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब अम्बेडकर इज कॉल्ड द आर्किटेक्ट ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन उन्हें इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन का आर्किटेक्ट कहा जाता है बिकॉज ऑफ हिज रोल इन मेकिंग द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन और इन ड्राफ्टिंग द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन नाउ हेयर यू कैन सी कैसे इस पर चर्चाएं हुई इलेवन सेशंस 165 days of discussion 299 members involved and what is in it longest written constitution in the world puri duniya mein sabse bada likha hua constitution jo hai hamara hai 395 articles in 22 parts and 12 schedules provides six fundamental rights to citizens and has a preamble capturing its spirit pure constitution mein kya hai wo hame bas preamble padh ke pata chalta hai and you people are having this प्रियम्बल इन ईच एंड एवरी टेक्सट बुक हर एक टेक्सट बुक के स्टार्टिंग में आपको ये प्रियम्बल पढ़ने को मिलेगा सो आफ्टर कम्प्लीटिंग दिस वीडियो आफ्टर कम्प्लीटिंग दिस लेसन यू पीपल जस्ट गो थ्रू दैट प्रियम्बल सो दैट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड वॉट एग्जैक्टली इज रिटर्न इन आवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन दिस वन इज द प्रियम्बल सो द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन असेंबली इनेक्टेड द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड अडोप्टेड इट ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स नवम्बर 1949 and therefore 26th november is observed as constitution day committee drafting committee on fundamental rights chairperson dr b r ambedkar advisory committee on fundamental rights sardar vallabhbhai patel union powers committee pandit jawahar lal nehru so here we are going to stop today but one thing which you people have to understand here that on 26th november 1949 the constituent assembly enacted the constitution and that is why 26th november we people celebrate as or observe as constitution day the country began to be governed according to the provisions of the constitution from 26th january 1950 and the indian republic came into existence from this day and that is why 26 january is celebrated as republic day so 26 november constitution day 26 january republic day so in today's session we people learnt about the meaning of the constitution provisions in the constitution necessity of a constitution then the concept of administration background to the making of the constitution constituent assembly the contribution of dr baba saheb ambedkar in making the constitution in the next chapter we will study about the preamble to the constitution
please subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get notifications so my dear swans this is all for today thank you very much stay home stay safe take care